Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. A drone hit a Robinson R44, not good. The 2024 NDAA was signed with the American Security Drone Act, also not very good. And then a drone rescue, good one on this one. So let's get to it. And before we get started, Happy New Year to everyone. I hope uh, 2024 is a good one and that you get, uh, well, fly your drones quite a bit. That's uh, the whole goal, right? And first story this week is one that you've probably seen before in a Facebook group, I'm sure posted 20 different times this week, a Robinson R44 helicopter that was operated by Leading Edge uh, Helicopter Tour hit a drone at approximately 180 feet uh, that happened near Daytona Beach Airport. Uh, it's unclear at this stage what phase of flight the helicopter was in, but it was able to land within minutes and without any injuries. The incident occurred above the Daytona Beach flea market in Daytona Beach, and uh, the operator was flying a mission for a construction company. Uh, the replacement of the R44 rotor blade is estimated to cost nearly $60,000. That's right, not a cheap uh, accident here with what happened. Uh, both the NTSB and the FA were notified, and we're at this stage not going to really assume too much. Uh, I want to wait until I see the full NTSB report, but uh, yes, the uh, the FA and the NTSB have talked to both the pilots and of the, the drone and the helicopter, so this is a confirmed um, uh, mid-air collision in this case. All right, next up this week is the 2024 National Defense Authorization Act, also called the NDAA. Uh, we've been talking about this all of 2023 and even some of 2022. Uh, this time, the uh, NDAA has the American Security Drone Act, the ASDA, that was added as an amendment. Uh, we were worried that uh, it was going to pass, and it did pass. Now, if you're not familiar with the ASDA, uh, it aims to address so-called cybersecurity concerns uh, for drones that are used by the federal government, federal agencies. Now, the law defines the aircraft as covered. This is a term I'm going to use in, in this article here. Uh, and it means that they were made or produced in China. So the ASDA does not, I want to be clear, the ASDA does not ban DJI or Autel drones for recreational or commercial use. So if you're flying a DJI drone right now, it is not covered by any of this, so you don't have to uh, worry about it. I know I know I'm going to be getting a ton of emails about this, so because every time we talk about this, I have students asking me that question. So no, if you have a DJI drone now, you're not flying for the federal government, you're not using federal grant money to buy that drone, you're not going to be affected by this. The ASDA does limit the use of drones that are made by what is called the covered foreign entity, but there's an exemption in here that is in place if the drone is, and I'm going to read the quotes, as procured or as modified after procurement, that's important here, uh, but before operational use, can no longer transfer or download data from a covered foreign entity and otherwise pose no national security and cybersecurity risk as determined by the exempting official. Now, complicated wording basically means that drones with secure data modes, such as the enterprise DJI drones, may, may, be allowed to be operated by federal agencies and purchased using federal grants. This also means that the technology that uh, DroneSense, uh, American company based in Texas, they presented earlier this year, could also be a workaround uh, because they were able to modify and basically strip the software and not having talk to uh, any servers other than uh, American servers. So. The kicker here is an interesting one. Later in the law, there is a two-year buffer. That means that for the next two years, listen to this one, for the next two years, no federal agencies may fly a covered aircraft, procure a covered unmanned aircraft, or spend federal grant money on the operation of a covered aircraft. This means that nobody can buy a DJI drone for the next two years, but in two years when this law kicks in, it might be okay because what's gonna change in the next two years? So there's, I'm not a, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but there's something very fishy here about this two year limit, uh, which would bring some of the possible sponsors of this law two more years to get a full ban on DJI. If that's what they were after, that's what they are after, we know that. So uh, I'm not buying it, quite frankly. Um, uh, again, I think this is very fishy. Let me know what you think in the comments, but uh, I'm getting more and more annoyed about this uh, ASDA uh, shenanigans that we keep uh, seeing everywhere. Now, there's no limitation at this stage in the ASDA that's going to be limiting public safety from spending non-federal money uh, on these uh, covered aircraft. So if uh, a federal agency wanted to buy, well, 
some DJI drones using non-federal money, then they could do that. Uh, if you want to get involved in opposing the ASDA, uh, we're going to put a link down to the DAA website and uh, let uh, your representative know that this is not acceptable. All right, last up this week is a Drones for Good story that's out of Weber County, Utah. Uh, weird story, so listen to this one. A foreign exchange student, his name is Kai Zhuang, uh, was reported missing by his parents in China after they supposedly received a picture of him indicating that he had been abducted and there was a ransom that was demanded. Uh, despite the initial fears, there was actually no concrete evidence suggesting that he was forcefully removed from his house. Uh, using a Matrice 30T, the Weber County SAR team, uh, that's our friend Cal Norforce and his team, uh, located the, uh, the student that was hiding in the mountains of Utah in a tent uh, apparently fearing for his family's safety. So congrats to Cal and his team for finding this person and recovering them safely. Uh, it's unclear at this stage what actually caused the incident, but we'll keep you updated if we see more. Again, this is another one of these that smells a little bit fishy if you ask me. So, all right, that's it. Happy New Year again, and we will see you on Monday for the first live event of the year. First up this week, uh, let me do that again. And first story this week, let's do that again. Right. Do, 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 do. Let me read the quote again. And also, no, let's do that again. Do, do, how, do do. Do you how do you pronounce this word? Jif. Say it again. Jif. Yeah, you, like I'm gonna do that. Like I'm gonna say. Jif. <laughs> what is going on here? Only three stories, you'll probably be done pretty quick. Oh yeah. Like in a jif. 